as promised, here is Innes's story, a portrait of a lockdown. The sun was setting magnificently. Vibrant purples, dusky pink and burnt orange streaked the early evening sky as I reclined in my stripy deck chair in the garden. As I gazed around me, I was thankful for the beauty of the fine irises, the majestic tulips and the sweet smelling wild pink roses next to the rockery. Smells of mint, rosemary and coriander floated in the air. The herb garden was still flourishing. Gypsy, the old calico cat, was fast asleep under the old sycamore tree that cast a comforting shade on hot days like these. Leela, my daughter, had set up her easel on the patio in between the various plant pots of all colours, shapes and sizes full of luxuriant green plants and palms. A blissful scene. I cast my mind back to 15 years ago, the first day of lockdown. The streets were empty. There were no people to be seen. This pandemic hadn't just shaken the country, it had shaken the world. People locked in their houses as if they were in a cage, hidden away so they wouldn't catch the deadly COVID-19. No one could see friends or family. No one went to school. No one went to work. The supermarket shelves were empty. The government didn't heed the warnings and the examples of other countries. They were indecisive and the Prime Minister and his ministers confused the nation. People wore masks to go out, which looked scary to children. It was a bleak time. But there were beacons of light in this darkness. The NHS workers and all other key workers were there for us all. The stronger of the nation helped the more vulnerable. Scientists worked tirelessly for a cure. Kindness shone through. Creativity in nature kept me going. This garden became my sanctuary, my lockdown Eden. Gypsy was a stray kitten who appeared at my back door meowing pitifully, one of the many abandoned or stray kittens. I took her in and she became a family member, a lockdown kitten. A month later, my lovely daughter Leela was born, a lockdown baby. She glances across at me and smiles lovingly as she holds up her lockdown painting, a project she has had to complete for GCSE Art. The picture is one of a colourful garden, a contented woman reading, a lazy cat sleeping, and a little baby in a Moses basket under the sycamore tree in the shade. The picture of lockdown is much like our scene now, as nature and the human spirit could not be vanquished. The sky is still streaked with vibrant purples, dusty pink and burnt orange. Henley and Arden School, achieving excellence together.